Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I've been reflecting these days on Pope Francis' message for Lent, in which he calls us to reject the indifference that so often characterizes the world's response to suffering. We see that indifference was a temptation from the beginning of humanity when God asked Cain, who had just killed his brother Abel, where is your brother? And he responded, am I my brother's keeper? The answer that Christians give to Cain's response is a resounding yes. Each one of us ought to have a deep concern for our suffering brothers and sisters. The saints in heaven, Pope Francis said, have that concern. He wrote, together with the saints, we form part of that communion in which indifference is conquered by love. Until the victory of love penetrates the whole world, the saints continue to accompany us on our pilgrim way. Saint Therese of Lisieux expressed her conviction that the joy in heaven for the victory of crucified love remains incomplete as long as there is still a single man or woman on earth who suffers and cries out in pain. She wrote, I trust fully that I shall not remain idle in heaven my desire is to continue to work for the church and for souls. Every Christian community is called to go out of itself and to be engaged in the life of the greater society of which it is a part. In each of our neighbors, then, we must see a brother or sister for whom Christ died and rose again. Dear brothers and sisters, how greatly I desire that all those places where the church is present especially our parishes and our communities, may become islands of mercy in the midst of the sea of indifference.